Um, and here we are with the Demons of Astberg. Um, so, what has been, uh, I guess, found is a uh, bridge skip. I dare say it's intended by the developers, just for the fact there's an achievement on PC that says uh, no magic on the first stage. And that sort of got me thinking, well, there is no magic, how long are we getting, uh, getting past? So, I will show you how it's done. Once you jump off a ledge, I dare say you have one or two frames that you can still jump. That's how we're going to make it across the bridge. The only hard part about this uh, first stage now is, is in the box. It's one of the final boxes that you need to hit. It's, it's pretty precise. But with a bit of practice, I don't see there's going to be any dramas. Also, the chest routing for money to get everything upgraded early. We do grab this big one up here, and the one back right at the start as well. More ones closest to us. Oh. Here we are. The start of the bridge. Uh, also, with the text, if you're holding... All the text comes up if you're holding uh, slash. And then, so depending on what you put that set as, I think mine's B. And then, mesh A, it'll just blitz through the text instead of sitting there mashing A and um, it scrolling through the text still waiting for the end so but here we are so pretty much you, as you see the animation change of him falling you press jump and you make it across that alone saves 2 minutes and 30 seconds so that's a big deal And obviously rolling movement is quicker in the game. I have tested that. For a screen length, like depending on how wide the screen length is, it's anywhere from three seconds, so. Alright. So that's down. Grab the key. We haven't learned to skip the key yet. I'll open that, but um, I will get rid of this guy just for this is the hard one. This one is very precise. Pain in the ass. You always seem to just be sure that you can do it. But if you can get this on the first two shots, you're gonna save a lot of uh, a lot of time. Even still, I had one where I sat there for 30 seconds and I'm still a minute, a minute and a bit. I'm safe off my split, so yeah. It's gonna save a fair bit. Just means when you come to the, the executioner, it's going to be um, not fun. If you want to use the what do you call it? If you want to use the the I can't, prop X or whatever you want to call it, the guillotine, uh, to hit him for a few times, because you're gonna to have to wait for him to. Um, slam down to bring the box down and then jump across and hit the switch where if you had the magic you can just hit the switch straight away and the other things down but then again in turn if you just keep hitting him you get him in the right spot you can do a ton of damage anyway so take it as you will how you want to do that boss that's fine but yeah and then you get to the boss and here you are so yeah that is how you gotta do it. But yeah, and as you know, if you've played, finally when he slams that box will come down, then um, you'll be able to uh, come up and then jump across and switch. So now you need a lot of try. You can't get the switch. Just look out of reach. Or if you had the magic, you can do the jump and shoot because the magic has. Awesome. Yeah. Leave muscle boxes down. Jump across. Hit the switch. Actually, you can stand on this box. And you still have to jump. He's doing that slash. And he runs through and you don't get hit. So that's something I found as well. Just to work. I mean, I 
nice and unlock but um, you get him in the right spot but also too you need to hit that whiskey looking glass so uh, yeah that's uh that's about it so hopefully you guys enjoy and um good luck with the uh, with the speedrun thanks guys